Hello everyone, come in, welcome to this tutorial. I'm glad to see you. I will show you all you have to know about the camera layer and its new feature from T-Pen Animation 12. As we know, the camera in previous version was pretty restricted in its use. The new 2D camera is easier and more precise to use. First of all, the camera have now its own layer, which will be on the top of the timeline. It will allow you to manage its timing precisely. In order to follow this tutorial, we will use camera 2D file, which you can download via the link in the description. When you create a new file, it will automatically create two layers in your timeline, one animation layer and one camera layer on top. To set the first position, I will have to use the camera button in my main panel, or simply click on the camera layer. You just have to click on the canvas to set the camera position. The camera and tool panel will show all the camera options. You can choose the format of your camera from the parameters button. In this case, I will choose HDTV UHD 4K and set where my camera will be. I can change the zoom here or with the HUD on the canvas. Now I've set it the first position. It has created automatically a first key in my camera layer. To set the second position of camera, I just have to go further in my animation and click on the canvas. T-Paint will calculate automatically my camera movement from the first key to the second key. The camera is now related to specific frames with the keys and not anymore to the longest layer of your animation. I can easily modify one of my keys. I just have to click on it and modify it on the canvas. I can also move my key on the timeline. In this case, I just have to hold my click and drag and drop where I want to move my key. Basically, the path of your camera will use Smart Spline, but you can choose here a different mode. You can use Linear, which means that you will have some angular position on your movement. You can also choose Linear apart from your camera path with a right click. You can choose Bezier and modify each position with these handles. You can also move them independently with a right click and choose independent control. Finally, I can also delete a key with the right click and choose delete keyframe all. With the right click, you can create or delete a keyframe with more or less parameters. Only the position or only the rotation all parameters together. Once I've set my camera movement, I would like to add subtlety in its speed. As you can see, my movement is pretty linear, always the same speed. I would like to add an ease in and ease out. In my camera layer, I will have the speed curve submenu, which will allow me to choose how T-Paint will calculate the speed of my camera. I just have to click on the curve and set some point to set my ease in and ease out. With a right click, I can add a point on my curve. I can also delete one of my key from the pop-up menu. If ever I want, I can choose to have a curve type in linear or in spline. I can also copy my entire curve path to paste it on another curve between two camera keys. The curve will match the length between the keys. Finally, I can reset my curve from the pop-up menu. And thanks for following this tutorial. For more content like this one, don't hesitate to subscribe and to follow us on social media. And see you in the next tutorial.